So you're thinking of moving to Corsicana, Texas. In this video, I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of living in Corsicana. And if you stick around until the end, I will share with you the best kept secret of Corsicana that you definitely don't want to miss out on. And we're going to get after that right now. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about living in Corsicana, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Corsicana. My name is Mariah Zuniga with the Texas Living Realtor Group here in Corsicana and we get calls and emails every single day from people like you looking to make a move to Corsicana and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in 9 or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. All the information is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to Corsicana, Texas. As I mentioned, we are in Corsicana, Texas, a small city in Navarro County with a population of approximately 32,000 people. And while it has a lot to offer, it also has its downsides. In this video, we will discuss the pros and cons of living in Corsicana, Texas. Starting off with the pros, number one is going to be the affordable housing. One of the biggest advantages of living in Corsicana is its affordable housing. Compared to other major cities in Texas, the cost of living here is relatively low. In the year of 2022, our average home price was at $250,000. Secondly, it's going to be the small town feel. Corsicana is a close-knit community where everyone knows each other. And if you enjoy the feeling of living in a small town, Corsicana is an excellent place to call home. Almost every month, you can find something to do in or around our community. From food truck Fridays, sip and strolls with boutiques downtown, events that are catered around the holidays, or even our monthly pop-up events. Third is going to be the rich history. Corsicana is steeped in history. With many historical sites and landmarks to explore, the city is home to the first oil strike in Texas. And there are several museums and galleries dedicated to persevering in this city's heritage. If you've heard of the Wolf Brand Chili or the famous fruit cakes, that's us. You will always see history here in Corsicana, from the landmarks to sites and the historical homes that are still standing today. Number four is going to be the outdoor activities. Corsicana offers a plenty of variety of opportunities for outdoor enthusiasts. The city has several parks, lakes, and trails for hiking, biking, and fishing. We are just 15 minutes west of Richland Chambers Lake that offers boating, fishing, and other amenities, and 15 minutes east of Navarro Mills Lake that, again, offers camping, fishing, and other recreational activities. Now, what are some cons of Corsicana? Number one is going to be the limited job opportunities. The job market in Corsicana is limited, with few employment opportunities outside of retail and service sectors, if you're looking for a career in a specialized field, you may have to commute to the larger cities, which is what a lot of people here do. If it's commuting to Ennis, that is 25 minutes north of 45, an hour north of 45 to Dallas, or heading east to Athens or west to Waco. Secondly is going to be the extreme weather. Summers in Corsicana can be scorching, with temperatures often exceeding 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Winters can be mild, but we have the occasional ice storms. Now, if you're from other areas in the United States, you're probably saying your cold is nothing. You're probably right, but our humidity here, oh my gosh. <laughs> Third con is going to be the limited entertainment options. While Corsicana has several restaurants and cafes, the city lacks the nightlife and the entertainment options of some of the larger cities. Although we have different events with our downtown community monthly, Corsicana doesn't offer the daily nightlife that you may be used to in Dallas or L.A. or Austin or other large city areas. And four, lastly, is going to be health care access. The city of Corsicana is home to only one hospital and a few clinics here. For more specialized Medicare, medical care, residents may need to travel to nearby cities. You might be traveling to Waxahachie, Athens, Waco, or the Dallas Metroplex. Now, in conclusion, living in Corsicana, Texas has its pros and its cons, but what city doesn't? While the city offers affordable housing, a small town feel, rich history, and outdoor activities, it also has limited job opportunities, extreme weather, limited entertainment options, and limited healthcare access. Now, ultimately, whether Corsicana is the right place for you depends on your personal preferences and priorities. So I'll let you be the judge if Corsicana is the right city for you. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video of one of the best kept secrets of Corsicana, I say it would have to be the Collins Street Bakery. 
a famous bakery that was founded in Corsicana in 1896, and it's known for its fruitcakes. The bakery has been featured on many national TV shows and is a popular tourist attraction in the area, and this place shifts all over the world. It's received numerous awards and accolades over the years, including being named the best mail-order fruitcakes by the Wall Street Journal and the best fruitcakes in Texas by Texas Monthly Magazine. Now, Collins Street Bakery is a well-known bakery located in Corsicana, Texas, and it has been in business for over 125 years. We have two locations, one off of 7th Avenue, which is Highway 31, which is the original location, but also a location now right off of Highway 45 in Corsicana. The bakery gained national recognition for its fruitcakes, which are made with high-quality ingredients that are aged for several months to develop their rich flavor. And in addition to the fruitcakes, Collin Street Bakery offers a variety of baked goods, including pies, cookies, breads, and pastries. The bakery also has a cafe that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it features a gift shop where visitors can purchase souvenirs and other items. So if you're ever just passing through or you're here, make sure you stop. Try the famous fruitcakes and also one of my favorite, the cherry icebox cookies. I hope you found this video informational and that you can also weigh your pros and cons of if Corsicana, Texas is the right place for you. That's all for now. Hope to see you on my next video or to see you around town.